Prince, 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 Prince. Oh man, I love this guy. He's like so freaking carefree and happy looking. Let's talk to him real quick. Wow, uh, glitchy wall. All day long, we are working on many construction projects in the village. It's going to take a while before everything is done. Oh, so he's just overworked, not really happy. Um, I like him being carefree a lot better. <laughs> anyway, hey guys, Missy and Ellie here, and welcome back to episode of Ocarina of Time 3D Master Quest. In the last episode, we explored the graveyard quite a bit and had some frustration with the minigame there. And in this episode, we're going to be heading back to Hyrule Castle Town Market on behalf of the security guard that's over by the gate. But before we head out, I do want to make a quick note of something. We can't really do anything about this yet, but I want to show that this exists. It's a monster! Let's kill it! Except we can't actually kill him because he's an NPC. Talk to him and he says we all look like this because of the spider's curse. This game and curses, I tell you. If every spider of the curse in the entire world were destroyed, the curse would be broken. So this guy and his entire family is cursed by spiders. And we need to play hero and kill all the golden sculptures for him. We do get some nice items for this, but it kind of takes a while and only a few of them are really useful. Something I love though is like if you slash him from behind, he like screams bloody murder and you can't, well you can't talk to him if he's Z-target, but if you get close to him after that, he gets angry and he just kind of whacks you with his side. I don't know, I guess he kind of it's out for revenge. Or he's really cranky. I would be cranky too if I were stuck like that. So, yeah, that's exactly who we're helping with getting all of the Golden Skulltula coins. Or tokens. Tokens, right? Tokens, yeah. Alright, uh, give me a heart, please. No, I don't need those. Well, I kind of do, but I kind of would like a heart. Because I don't like my... Oh, wait, I got a heart somewhere. I guess I didn't see it. Oh, well. Anyway, just wanted to point that out. We can't get any prizes just yet because we only have nine tokens. So we're going to change that in just a bit. But first, onward to our first stop of Hyrule Castle Town Market. Uh, what do you want, Navi? Uh, what would Saria say if we told... Oh, oh, Saria. Yeah, no, not doing that now. We're going to Castle Town Market. And here we are at Hyrule Castle Town Market. I saved you guys the travel because I kind of figure we all know where the market is. It's kind of the biggest building on the map, to be fair. <laughs> anyway, so we are here and our first stop, well, you know what? I want to I show this first. You remember in the last episode, the guy, the, the security guard said that he'd put in a special ward for us, right? For the shield? Well, this is where you get it. Of course, we don't have to buy it now, but this 80 rupee shield would normally be 40 rupees with that discount. So that's kind of nifty. Oftentimes, I actually end up going for the, the 40 rupee mask. Not a mask, but 40 rupee shield just because I keep forgetting <laughs> to go to the graveyard. Cough, cough, don't want to go there. But that's there if you need it. And now for our second stop, we're going into the Happy Mask Shop. Yes, this is just the happy episode. hi Welcome to the Happy Mask Shop. We deal in masks that bring happiness to everyone. How would you like to be a Happy Mask Salesman? Or Happiness Salesman? How do you sell happy? Um, I'll lend you a mask. You sell the mask and bring the money back here. So that's basically the gist of what we're doing here. We have to get the mask, give it to someone else, and then bring back the money that we make. After you've sold all the masks, you'll become happy yourself. Have faith. I don't know. This feels really cultish for me to, to me for some reason. But our first mask of choice is going to be our Pikachu mask. You borrowed a Pikachu mask. No, it's not Pikachu. It's a Keton. But still... Looks like freaking Pikachu. Speaking of looks like, check out this mask right here, up in front. It's Leonardo. And now you can never unsee it. Freaking min nin mutant ninja turtles. Anyway, I think that's all we can really do here during the daytime anyway. Um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna change it into nighttime because this chick here, 
she has something that we need to do, and she has a little doggy out here. So, time to go ahead and change it to nighttime. Uh, there we go. I guess I was playing it too fast or something. All right, I can control time. All right, there we go. And these two are still out here dancing. They are still out here dancing. Oh, you are so handsome. Just like the king of Hyrule. My boy. I don't think that's a compliment. I do not think that's a compliment, uh, young miss, lady, person. I don't know. I, I question your, your description of attractive. Anyway, so there is a little white doggy here. What we want to do is tap him, and then he'll start following us. It's so cute. You are just the cutest, aren't you? Oh. Unfortunately, we can't actually pick him up. I wish we could, like like in Majora's Mask, but oh well. He will follow us, nevertheless. And what we need to do with him... We need to come right on over here and enter this door. Now, in here, we talk to this lady. Richard! This is my little Richard. Thank you, thank you. I'll give this to you as a reward. And for our troubles, we get a piece of heart that makes three of four pieces. We're almost there to another heart container. And by the way, just saying... Oh, I can't go into first person mode! No! Oh, I was gonna say that this, this lady has, like, winter lips. Look at her lips. That is just... That is just the best. She has the best lips. You have the best lips of Hyrule, uh, ma'am, person. Alright. Now, we're done here. Is that the last of the things that I wanted to touch here? Not that I'm touching anything, but still, you know what I mean. I think so. So, now that we're done with that, it's time to change it back into daytime. I like controlling time a lot. I cannot imagine playing this game without actually finding the sun song. I cannot imagine it. The sun song is just so vital to things that require timing. Anyway, now that it's morning, it's time to head on out! Onward to our new destination, which is actually right up ahead. Yeah, it's not too far of a walk, I suppose. I mean, it's right on Hyrule Castle's freaking front door. Well, maybe not that close, but still, it's within sight, so it's not too terrible. But it still does feel like a long time because of Link's stubby little, little legs. Come on, Link, roll! Roll with all your mites! Alright, almost there, and here we go! We have arrived! And welcome to Lon Lon Ranch, the ever peaceful. Yeah, it's really, really nice here. I like it a lot. So, um, what we want to do here is actually come into this building and we have Mr. Ouija here! I can't believe that I, the Great Ingo, am working on this dump of a ranch. Because the owner is so lazy, I always have to do all the work around here. Oh man, oh man, poor Ouija always gets the short end of the stick. And these nose rings look really painful. Um, poor things. Alright, so, I just want to introduce Ingo real quick because he is kind of important and he's very cranky. And he looks like Ouija. I don't think that's a coincidence. Anyway, in here we have Mario, Ouija's brother. Even though, of course, he's not actually Mario. He looks like it, okay? Mumble, mumble, huh? I'm awake already. What? Well, I'll be, if it ain't the forest kid from the other day, by the way. Thanks a lot for waking me up. It took some doing, but I finally got Melon back into a good mood. Yeah, Melon is totally the boss of the house. Totally, completely, 100%. So, these three cuckoos I have here are special super cuckoos. I'm going to throw these cuckoos into that there gaggle of normal cuckoos. Gaggle? Really? Giggly gaggly? You can pick out these three special birds from among the normal cuckoos within the time limit. I'll give you something good. Alright, so we have to spend some money to play this. Let's do this! Now, uh, it's good to pay attention to where they fall. I watched this one fall, so that's that, that's that one. Um, which one? Come on. I remember there was once where I actually picked up all three right in a row. Like, it did not take me, like, even five seconds. It was the best. And I'm actually a little bit worried that I might fail this because I am having a really hard time 
finding that other one. Uh-oh. 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 Yes? One more. One more. Come on. Which one is it? Is it you? Is it you? Yes! Yes! Just barely! Just barely! Did you see that? What the frick are you doing, good sir? He's like slapping his crotch. Or his... Or his knees? No, that's his... No, he's slapping the floor in between his crotch. That is so weird. What kind of victory dance is that? All right, whatever suits you. Good, sir. Hey, you, you've got the talent to be one of the world's best cowboys with that shoddy performance that I barely wanted. How'd you like to marry Malin, huh? <laughs> oh, man, I love this guy. I love this guy. Ho, ho, I was just kidding, just kidding. I think you're a little young for that, aren't you? Ho, ho, ho. Oh, I'm proud to present to you a sample of our very own La La Milk. You'll be energized the moment you drink it. After you drink it, you can bring back the bottle and buy a refill anytime you want. Okay, so we got Lawn Lawn Milk. Very, very nice. Recovers five hearts per sip, and each bottle has two sips. And he just immediately falls asleep. I swear, this guy has, like, narcolepsy or something. So, the best part is not the gear tab, but is not the llama milk, but it is actually that we got another bottle for that. So, it's actually very, very cool. Alright, so, uh, before we leave this building, one last thing that I want to show here. This is actually really, really cool. You come in here... And we're just kind of touring his house while, he, while he's asleep. I swear, we could, like, rob him dry. In fact, why don't we do that? Wait. Wait. Wait, what is this? I, I stole his money, and that's good, but... Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, it's a little scribble of Melon and, and Talon holding hands! That is... That, oh, my heart. My heart. That isn't what I wanted to show, and I didn't know that was here. But that is the cutest. That is the cutest. All right. Uh, okay, so where is the thing that I wanted to show? I'm pretty sure it's in here somewhere. Um. No? No? Where, where is the thing? The, oh, drawings! Okay, I, I'm really just, just squeeing at this game too much at this point. Um, I could have sworn that there was something in here. Where is it? Well, I lied. Um, apparently it's only available later, so we're done here. Yeah, but we saw the drawing and that makes me so happy. That just warmed my heart completely. I feel all warm and fuzzy inside. I love this feeling. Anyway, so we're done there. Uh, I'm done robbing him as well. I have lots of money now. I'm almost maxed again. That's very nice. All right. Um, okay, so this is the main part of the ranch. We have a few things to do here, one of which is... Headbutt this tree for a golden skulltula. Uh, let's see. This one makes... Ten? Ten. Yeah, ten skulltulas. Awesome. Okay, okay. Now, if we come over here, we hear a familiar voice. That's right, it's our next meeting with... The little melon. Hello, how are you doing? Oh, it's the fairy boy again. I heard you found my dad. How do you like the castle? Did you see the princess? Oh, uh, yeah. And her attendant is kind of a jerk. Dad came home in a hurry after you found him. Oh, yeah, I have to introduce you to my friend, fairy boy. She's this horse. Her name is Epona. Isn't she cute? She's so adorable, but she hates me. Yeah, she, she kind of will not let you get anywhere near her. At all, period. It seems like Epona is afraid of you, fairy boy. Yeah, uh, I couldn't I couldn't tell. Really, I couldn't. My mother composed a song. Isn't it nice? Let's sing together. Well, I can't sing, but I sure can play a mean flute. Um, hello. Hello, I said I can play a mean flute. Or ocarina. Oh, cute ocarina. Are you going to play this song with that ocarina?
You've learned Epona's song. And now she loves us. Oh, who's a good pony? Who's a good pony? Who is a good pony? Stop shoving me. She is just like, she loves us so much that she just skids us across the ground. All right, uh, do you have anything else to say? Oh, a pony, she's grown fond of you, fairy boy. Oh, how sweet. How sweet. All right, so we got the main thing that we actually came here for, but, but, what I want to do before anything else is, wait, where is it? Oh, I almost got trampled. Okay, so there's that thing all the way over there. That, 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 um, that thing. The building all the way over there. It looks like a chimney. We need to go in there and get something. Let's see. Come on, like, go faster. I wish your legs were longer so you wouldn't take so dang long. I know I said I wouldn't be abusing the rolling too much, but his walking is so slow. All right, here we go. Here we go. Into the building. I don't know what this is supposed to be. This is like a storage area or something, maybe? All right, so it looks fairly normal enough, right? Right, right, right. What we need to do is pull this out. Push this in. I hope I'm doing this right, because if not, then I'm probably going to have to rearrange everything. It's basically like a little mini block puzzle. There is a little a little hole back there that we need to get to. Um, I did this wrong, didn't I? I hope not. Uh, climb. There we go, drop down, and then pull this out. Was that enough? Was that enough? It was enough, yes! Come on, go, in, go inside, I can't see. Up, oh, there we go. Uh, in, in, into the hole of L-Link. There we go. And we can already see our prize! Check it out! This is exciting! This is exciting! We got a piece of heart! We've completed another heart container! Our first one that we got from four heart pieces. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Alright. Well, that was all we really needed to do here, but... Hold up. Hold up. These cows. These cows. This is a pretty good tip if you're running, like, maybe a three heart run or you're having problems with some of the enemies. If you actually target one of these cows and play Epona's song, then you get something pretty nice. It's a nifty little secret. I don't know if I really call it a secret, but a nifty mechanic where they go moo. What a nice song. It reminds me of the pasture. That song makes me feel so good I can produce a lot of milk. Have some have some of my refreshing and nutritious milk. Yeah, she gives us her milk as a gift. I feel a little bit awkward taking milk from a sentient cow that can speak to us. I don't know, there's just something very strange about that. Don't don't get me wrong, I like milk, but if the co if the cow can talk back to me while I'm like trying to take something from her udder, that's a little bit awkward, just saying. All right, that's about enough. Um we need it to be nighttime now. I'm getting really good with these songs too. Yes. Yes, I'm so happy that I haven't actually screwed anything up yet. Well, yet. Probably won't last long. All right, now that it's nice time, we have all of these birds flying everywhere. Aren't you supposed to be asleep, you stupid thing? What are these even called? Gway. It's so gway. Actually, it looks more black than gway. <laughs> All right, all right, stupid jokes aside, these things are gonna kill me because they take a lot of damage. Um, we have this golden sculptula right up on the side of the wall. There we go, no, get away! That was the best dodge. That was the best dodge, look at me, look at me. I am like so ready for that Gway. It went like right through my head. That was pretty freaking amazing, not gonna lie. All right, so there are a few more Skulltulas here, but once again, we cannot get them yet, unfortunately. I don't really like all of this backtracking that I have to do for Golden Skulltulas, but we will get to them at some point. I think one is actually, like, right here. I hear it. 
Uh. Yep, it's up there! Good luck reaching that with your stubby little legs, Link. Okay, that was the last thing that we really need to do here in Lon Lon Ranch for now. Of course we'll be back, but nothing else to do here. Now, earlier in the video, Navi told us that Soria, well she didn't tell us, she was just like, I wonder what Soria would think about us having to save Hyrule. Herp -a -derp -a -derp. That's pretty much your cue to go back to Kokiri Forest. So, it's all the way off in the blue yonder over there, so I'm going to go ahead and make this walk, dodge all these skeletons, and I will see you guys next time. Yeah, how, how generous of me to spare you guys the walk, right? <laughs> Even though we're almost there. But anyway, I will see you guys next time! Masinilla! This is not the forest. It's up north, isn't it? It's totally up north. Out.